Welcome to another tutorial for Rollback RX. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up access control as well as using encryption in Rollback RX. I'm going to go ahead and open the Rollback console and then I'm going to select System Security. Note in order to use the System Security and its encryption features, you would first have to enable the access control and this is by clicking Access Control under Control Panel and enabling Access Control. And then I will click OK apply these changes by setting up a new password confirm the new password and then click add then I would go back to access control and you will now notice administrator being the default user in rollback rx is now enabled note you can only change the password and nothing else for the administrator then I will click add to add a new user giving a name as user1 a description as account manager and then I would give it a password such as 1234 confirming the password 1234 and then I would give some of our privileges such as rollback system take a snapshot set data security note in order to use the system security and its encryption features you would have to set data security as one of the privileges for the user then click add now you'll notice the user one is in the user list you can also add remove or modify the users if you have administrative privileges and then I will click OK then I will click apply these changes and now I can go back to system security and I will be able to enable or disable the encryption features and password authentication this feature is used to encrypt all your snapshots to prevent data theft and to prevent unauthorized access to Windows thank you for watching this tutorial on how to use access control and encryption in rollback RX be sure to watch our other tutorials on how to use Rollback RX.